What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon... What was it? Brilliant Diamond Walker? Yes, or Brilliant Diamond Walker. I'm, like, scatterbrained right now, guys. So, two things are going to happen in this episode. Yes, the all-awaited trade is finally going to happen because, well, if you guys don't know, I'm actually playing uh, Shining Pearl right now. And I got two Pokemon that I want to trade to this game because, well, we kind of need them and we won't be able to get them until way, way later on. So, what's going to happen here is we're going to be going straight into the trade area. And, well, let's see. I think it's this person right here. Let's see. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the Union Cave. This is, or the Union Room. This is the room for uh, Pokemon Local Club. You'll be able to interact with uh, nearby trainers here. You need to save your adventure. Would you like to enter? And, uh, well, let's see. I don't think this is the one right here. Maybe it's this one. Let's see. Uh, Pokemon Coliseum. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, no. I don't want to do any Pokemon Coliseum. And I know many of you guys are like, still wondering, hey, where are you coming now with that? Pretty soon, guys. Pretty soon. Or I probably already did. I don't know. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go there. And I'm going to I'm gonna look at it for my Pokemon Shining Pearl. Now, there are two Pokemon I want to get in order to continue on to our adventure right here. So we're gonna be saving, and well, we're gonna be saving to this one right here too. And everything has been progressed, and our game has been, yes, our game has been saved. Now the Union Room, you can interact with any other trainers by visiting the Union Room inside the Pokemon Center. So I'm gonna be pressing that. And we are communicating right now into my Shining Pearl right here. And we're going to look very different, as you guys can see right here. I'm going to look the same, but in uh, my other game, it has, me sh it has me as a hiker right here. So, let's see. I'm going to talk to myself. Actually, hold on. Let's see. There we go. What do we do? Okay, so call. Let's go ahead and trade. Go ahead and trade. Call. Trade, and that is exactly what we're going to be doing here. Wow, never thought that I would be doing that. Let's see. Um. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so what if we... Yes, okay, so we're using my brother's... Yeah, we're using my brother's... Uh... Yes, we are using my brother's... Uh... What was it? Nintendo Switch right here. So... Here we are, we're about to trade. There are only a few Pokemon that I, I've actually captured, so we're gonna be sending in my, Mind Duck. And the first Pokemon that I'm gonna be sending from Pokemon Shining Pearl happens to be a pretty good one, so let's go right ahead and send in Smoke. I've always wanted to use Smoke. I've always wanted to use Smoke into Pokemon, like any kind of Pokemon game, but I never had the chance to do so, so. That's what we're going to be doing right now, is a trade with, you know, my brother's game. Right here. <laughs> and we're sending it all over. Look at that. Mind Duck is being sent. See you later. And look at that. Smoke is coming back. Now, the only way we can get a Ghastly is in the Grand Underground. And we, yeah, we're not going to wait for a very, very, like, we're not going to wait here. So, we're going to be sending in Smoke. And uh, because of this... Smoke does get a, a boost in uh, experience points. So as you guys can see, Ghastly, the gas Pokemon, Ghost and Poison. This Pokemon's body is 95% made up of gases. The Pokemon can be blown away by strong gusts of wind. So that's a pretty good one right there. And the next Pokemon that's going to be going into our team is a, uh, is a familiar one. It is a familiar one. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be sending in Terramon. For Toothless. Now, Toothless, we won't be able to get for a very, very long time. They made sure of that. They made sure that we don't get this powerful Pokemon. And I'd rather do it right now rather than, you know, later and all that stuff. <coughs> and then, yeah, got a cough. So, here we are with trade number two. And here we are sending Terramon all the way back to Shining Pearl in exchange for Toothless, a level 15 Gibble, and thanks to, you know, the experience, the experience boost with traded Pokemon. Oh yeah, this is going to be an easy, 
easy kind of thing. So here it is, guys. We got ourselves Toothless the Gibble. And what's going to happen is its data is going to be coming in. And as you guys can see, Land Shark Pokemon, both Dragon and Ground type. This Pokemon right here, it nests in small horizontal holes in the cave walls. It pounces to catch prey that stray too close. Oh, wow. So there we go. We got ourselves the two Pokemon that we wanted. Um, the third Pokemon that we wanted. Uh, hold on just a sec. The third Pokemon. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Wow. <coughs> I am coughing. I might as well do it right now. Just for the hell of it, because uh, eventually this Pokemon is going to be needed. Uh, we won't be able to use it right now. So let's go ahead and trade for this Pokemon. Thanks to, you know, thanks to capturing it over at the, what was it called? Uh, at the Grand Underground. So as you guys can see, we are going to be trading for Gaia. Unfortunately, this Pokemon right here is at level 45. So we won't be able to do anything with it until later, later on. So, yes, I get it. Similar Pokemon, whatever. But, it'll work. It will work in the long run. Our Pokemon will be leveled up and then, bam, look at that. Guy is coming in. So that is a three Pokemon that we sent over. Look at this. Gaia, ready to go. Now, I could have him on my team, just so I can evolve and all that stuff. So that's probably what I'm going to be doing. I'm not going to be using it, just like I did with Mew. But those are the three Pokemon that I want to get. We're going to be right back. We're going to be going into Cycling Road. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So we are back. And, uh, well, we added two Pokemon instead of three. We can wait for all. It's a little bit later on. So the Pokemon replaced are well, what's what's his face Mew and uh, Ultra Psycho mainly because eventually we're gonna get ourselves our our, our uh, what was it called our psychic type Pokemon too bad it's over leveled and it's past the the whole uh, cap right here so as you guys can see we got toothless yeah buddy look at this dragon and ground type has the lax nature and uh, well it's not gonna be a, a good special defenseman in any, in, in any capacity but it is it does have some pretty good defense right here. Sand Veil, it's its thing. Increases its uh, evasiveness. And, uh, well, here we have Smoke. Oh, man, I can't wait to use this Pokemon because, oh, my God. Never thought that I would, uh, I would actually use it. Now, we did say that we were going to go back into the Eterna for Forest. But instead, we're going to go straight to the Cycling Road. We're going to continue on with our adventure right here. I think after winning a few badges, you can, uh, I think after winning a few badges, you can, uh, what was it called, uh, you can do a little something else. Now, before we do anything, um, let's see, let's go ahead and talk to this lady. Uh, going underground with the Explore Kit is a blast, isn't it? It is, but, I don't know, the feature, the feature itself to grow Pokemon is kind of exhausting. So, if you talk to him, this guy's like, Draven, long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am. I'm Professor Rowan's assistant, uh, Don's father. I've come a long way, uh, uh, a long way, the behest of the professor to help you on your adventure. Draven, let me ask you, how many Pokemon have you met? Oh my, you've met 43 Pokemon. Wonderful, yes, bravo. Professor Rowan should be delighted. Here's something for you, and we got ourselves a, we got ourselves a rare candy. This guy usually gives us an experience share, but you know, experience share has become a staple of this whole thing right here that we kind of don't need. Well, he, he's not going to give us anything. So, uh, let's press that select button. Let's go and drive off into the cycling road. Now, the only way you can go through here, guys, is if you have a bicycle. And that can only happen after defeating the, uh, the second gym leader. And while you're going on around here, you're going to be battling quite a few trainers. So, let's get right, in. Let's get right to it. So, here we go, taking on Cyclist Axel. Cyclist Axel, Axel Rhodes, Axel. I don't, I don't, I have no. Oh, Curtis Axel from WWE. That kind of stuff. And well, as you guys can see, we are at a type disadvantage. This is not gonna fare well for us and all that stuff. So yeah, pretty, uh, pretty, uh, yeah. This is not gonna happen. Actually, we could give that rare candy to to Magikarp. I completely forgot about that. Oh well. So we could. Well, yeah, we're most likely at our, like, what, three episodes a week kind of deal. You guys probably already seen it over on my uh, community page. I don't know how long it will be from the making of this whole thing right here. But 
again, uh, the goal is the goal is to give you guys consistent episodes because in 2024 we're gonna be. I, I wouldn't say oh, I wouldn't say uh, we're uh, we're. Well, I, I don't know what to say. To be quite honest, um, a lot of you guys love the fact that that I'm kind of doing this green screen and all that stuff, and you know I'm enjoying it, showing my face a little more often and all that crud. Uh, but I also like doing just the, the, the voicing, the voice comment, all that stuff without being seen because sometimes, I don't know, it's just me. But because of this whole green screen stuff, it's actually boosted up the views quite a bit. Now you guys know who Draven is and what he does and how he's doing it and all that crud. Um, shoot. I'm actually very proud of like the, the stuff that we have right here because like the green screen that I have, oh my god, impeccable. It is impeccable, and why are you guys using Intimidate so much? Why are you guys being so mean? Alright, let's go with a, a Flame Wheel. Alright, Monfernomon, do your worst. And, wow, Shinx survives, but gets burned, and, well, we'll take a Leer. It's fine. It is fine, and, well, there you go, and there you go. Shinx has been defeated. Oh my god. There you go, and... We're getting closer and closer to Magikarp evolving. We're not gonna even, we're not gonna give it the rare candy because it's just it, like it's 100 points away. It's a waste. Now, I believe we are going uphill, downhill, and all that stuff. So, let's go ahead and use one of our newest Pokemon. That is Toothless. Toothless, of course, is a very rare Pokemon here in Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, and. Uh, in the Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum series, it's it's often used because, yeah, it's a very, very powerful Pokemon once it fully evolves into Garchomp. And, well, I kind of needed it right now because we wanted it to stay ahead of the curve and all that crud. And its ground typing is just, yes, it's magnificent. So, here comes a Growl attack. And this Land Shark right here is not going to like that. So, here we go. Sand Tomb for the win. And that right there gives it a good go. It is a critical hit, and it is a it is getting uh, hurt by quicksand. Or well, it should be. Well, it, it's not quicksand. It's more of a sand attack or something like that. No, it's a sandstorm. Yes. And well, look at this. We are getting uh, we're getting uh, growled. But here comes a dragon breath attack for the win. This Pokemon. That's right. Oh, yes. And that right there increases our levels. Toothless is kicking some butt right now. Oh, my God. And, well, we're not going to be learning uh, we'll win anytime soon. So let's just, like, keep it like that. And Cyclist James has been defeated. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. So we're going to keep on going. I'm not even controlling anything. It's just, you know, you, you're, you're, pretty much, you're pretty much uphill going downhill, I should say. And, well, here we are taking on Cyclist Nicole, and, well, let's see, she's going to be coming out with her Starly. The move that I have is not a, well, it is a ground-type move. I thought it was a rock-type move, so, look at this baby-looking Pokemon right here. Let's go with a Dragon Breath, and, uh, well, Quick Attack always hits us first. That is a, that, that is quite annoying right there. So, here we go, Dragon Breath. And that almost... Oh, yeah, it paralyzes this Starly. Okay, so we get an advantage. And, of course, quick attack again. You gotta love that. Okay, come on. Dragon Breath. And, bam! Starly has been defeated. I'm loving this new Pokemon. I really am. And, wow, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Let's go with Smoke. I love, I love naming some of these Pokemon after Mortal Kombat characters. If you guys don't know, Mortal Kombat is like my other favorite uh, like video games of all time. Try it. And, well, here we have Ponyta. And, yeah, this Pokemon doesn't have any moves whatsoever. So let's go with Payback. And that right there hits it. Tail Whip doesn't really do much. If only it had other moves. All right, Smoke, come on, quit screwing around. Let's go, payback attack. That's the only move it has. I'm sorry. <laughs> and here comes a flame charge. That, oh crap, Basket. So that's not gonna be good at all because, ooh, that was a painful one. 
and because of the speed increase it's not gonna fare well for all of us right here so let's go with toothless and see what happens right here and again I'm getting like messages whatsoever oh wow yes I'm getting quite a few messages you gotta love that and here we go flame charge not so effective yes you're getting another boost it is practically faster than my uh, my toothless but we're gonna be going with a sand tomb and here comes a tail whip yeah, you really don't want that to happen. So, here we go. Sand Tomb. Oh, yes. This Pokemon defeated. And, oh my god. Garchomp, or Toothless, kicking butt, taking names. And Hydra grows to level 20 as well as Smoke. And Smoke wants to learn Curse. Okay, Curse is a good move. It is. You just have to use it properly. And, uh, well, use your... Yeah, okay, so we're just going to take Spite away because... We're not much of a H or PP cutter. We're more of a... You guys know what I'm talking about. And because of that, yes, you have fallen off your bike. Throwing out the peace sign, and here we go. <sighs> Digivolution time. So after, what, seven? Well, seven complete episodes, our Magikarp is finally evolving into the very powerful Gyarados. It's going to finally learn some good moves. Look at this Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. This Pokemon is going to kick some ass. Oh, yes. So here it is. Gyarados, the atrocious Pokemon. It is both water and flying type. And it is, uh, once a Gyarados appears, its rage never, never settles until the Pokemon has ra ra razed the fields and mountains around it. Oh, very brutal Pokemon. And it does, like, it automatically learns bite. And, well, oh, I hit... I hit, a, I hit a ledge right there or something, a wall. So what I'm going to do is I am going to... I'm going to sort these items because I'm meticulous like that. And I'm going to teach Hydra a new move because it needs something better. Uh, this is Bullet Seed. Uh, work Up can work for Star Blade. This is Taunt. I'm not going to use that. Rock Tomb can work for Monfernomon or Toothless. Hmm. But I only have one of them. This is Thief. Uh, I'm not going to use that. Uh, recycle. Flash. Jesus. Criminy. Okay, so it looks like we don't have much in a sense of like, well, you know, uh, like good moves. Pluck is a very good move, but it already has wing attack. And this is Cut, which is no longer an HM anymore. And uh, that right there is Rock Smash. Yeah, we have no moves for this Pokemon, so let's see. Let's go right ahead and use, uh, let's go ahead and use Hydro right here, now that it's fully evolved, and let's check its summary. So here it is, look at that, Hydra, looking pretty spiffy, hasty nature and all that crud. Uh, its speed is there, defense is going to go down, Intimidate is its ability, so we have three Pokemon with Intimidate, and uh, yeah, we're going to be kicking some butt, taking some names right here, so here we go. Taking on another opponent. And this one is Cyclist John. And he's trying to feel out his muscles and stuff. And, well, he comes out with a Starly. That is a uh, big mistake right there because we got Gyarados. Oh, uh, yes. Look at that. Hi Hydro with the Intimidate. And, well, the only move it could use that will actually do something is Bite. And, uh... Here we go. And, well, we're getting some points. It finally wins a battle, and it's about to come out with a Staravia. So, let's go with Electro Star. Like I said, guys, we will be switching out Pokemon here and there. See what happens. All that crud. So, here we go, Electro Star. And here comes a Staravia. All right, Staravia. You're going to get intimidated. I'm pretty sure you're going to intimidate me. Yeah. The, int the intimidation factor is, is something right here. So, let's go right ahead and go with a Spark Attack right here. And... Look at that. Staravia. Defeated. What now? Okay. Alrighty. And Cyclist John has been defeated as well. So, I'm feeling pretty proud about myself right here. Okay. So, let's see. Again, we're going downhill. And there is... Or there are two trainers right here. So, let's go ahead and see what we got right here. Now, this uh, the bicep can only uh, can only take you as far as your energy will allow. That is true. 
Okay, so here we go, checking on Cyclist Ryan, and, uh, well, he, again, feeling out his muscles. Coming out with a Zubat, and I'm gonna be coming out with Hydra. Hydra, please intimidate it, and, well, it's inner focus will prevent me from doing anything, so let's go bite attack. Nibble on this Pokemon. Yeah, okay, alrighty. Now, it does have a hitting move, Thrash, and that's, you can only do that if the Pokemon, well, you can only get that if you capture a Gyarados, a pure Gyarados without evolving or anything like that, so, yeah, that's something else that we have to keep an eye out for, and, well, we got two more trainers, let's go ahead and not avoid them, why, why are you, yeah, controlling this bicycle is just ridiculous right here, so, let's see what happens, and, uh, hmm, here is Cyclist Rachel, and, well, she's saying hi, coming out with a Shinx. This might be a problem, because I think the Pokemon right here are, like, at least close to level 20. Hmm. This could be, this could be an issue right here. And, yes, we're both intimidating each other, so... Who's the scariest of them all? Especially with that Pokemon. Alright, let's go with the Bite Attack. Alright, Hydra. Bite Attack. And because, uh, oh yeah, because of the Intimidate, it saves it a little, but we get a flinch, and here we go, another Bite Attack for the win, yes. Hydra is just winning battles, it is undefeated, currently undefeated, and she's gonna be coming out with a Shink, so let's go with Toothless, since it's, it's it is a ground-type Pokemon. And Toothless, about to, you know, kick some butt, take some names, do everything in between, and here is Shinx. Look at Shinx, going with Intimidate. Who doesn't like Intimidate, okay? We're just the, we're just using Intimidate for everything. So here we go, Sand Tomb. That is super effective. And you are trapped in Quicksand, so here comes a Leer attack. That's not scary. You are not scary, my friend. And, well, our defense has fallen, but that Quicksand is really messing up that Shinx. Okay, so let's go with another Quick Attack, or another Sand Tomb. And there you go. Shinx defeated. Alrighty. Okay. And, well, Cyclist Rachel has been defeated. She is not liking this. Alrighty. Okay, so. Wow. Okay, so what's going to happen here is I got to. Yeah, I got to pause and get back on it because, again, 20 minute limit. So I'll be right back with you guys. Oh, man, these time limits suck. Okay, so let's uh, first switch out our Pokemon right here. All right, Hydra. You look like a, a very, very useful Pokemon. So let's go back to Monfernomon and kick some butt and take some names. And uh, here we go. Who is this? I love my bike, but I'm not very good at fixing flat tires. Flat tires are easy to fix. They, 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 oh, my God. Okay. Oh, well. Never mind, I'm not even going to say anything because I don't want the comment section to go crazy about what my opinion is. Anywho, she has a Pikachu. And I'm coming out with Monferno Mon. Monferno Mon's about to throw some hands here. Let's go. Flame Wheel. Please don't get paralyzed. And bam. Flame Wheel for the win. Critical hit. We win again. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And, well, Cyclist Crit uh, Kayla not liking us right now. Hmm. Okay, so let's see. We're going down, and I believe this is the end of the cycling road right here. Uh, we have to cross these guys. Okay, and bam. All right, who is this? You have a great bike, so I'd like to give you some great stickers, and we get some stickers. Okay, that's fine. I, I don't mind the stickers. Okay, so let's see. Here we are in Route 206, and there are there is a lot of... Well, there are a lot of things that you could find around this area, but I believe we're going to be skipping... Or no, we're not going to be skipping the next episode. There's something we need to do, and well, we're going to get some raspberries. And before we do anything else, let's go ahead and meet up with our good old friend, Dawn. Look at her. Hi, Draven. How's your Pokedex coming along? Me? I'm somewhere between fantastic and uh, hopeless. But this isn't about me. I've got something nice for you. Draven, uh, Draven, choose which hand you want. Uh, I'm gonna go with left. I see, you want the VS Seeker. I'm impressed, Draven. You know what's important. And it doesn't matter what, what hand she has it in. It's We're still gonna get the VS Seeker no matter what. 
Okay, so the Via Seeker makes a return here in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. This will ask rematches with any Pokemon trainer out here, which is which is good, and they will progress as you, you know, progress in the story itself. And, oh, Draven, do you have a Pokétech? Yep, you do! You can have this too, then. You deserve it for all your hard work, Draven. And there it is, guys. We get ourselves the Dowsing Machine, which will help us find some hidden items and all that stuff. The Dowsing Machine is something you should touch often. It will tell you if uh, there is an item on the ground that you can't see. It will especially be useful inside dark caves. Okay, let's keep working on our Pokédexes. Professor Rowan is counting on us. Whatever you say, baby. Yes. Okay, so we're going to pause our episode right here. Um, actually, let's go ahead and grab these. Berries. You can never go wrong with berries. Except for, you know, Barry, our rival. That guy, he, he sucks. He really, really sucks. So here we go. Two cherry berries for the win. There we go. Grab this. Another cherry berry. Or an orange berry, I should say. And let's grab... Not that. Come on. Let's go right here. And two blood berries for the win. Yes, we are okay. Okay, so we're going to be pausing our episode right here. In the next one, we're going to be going through Route 206 below it. And we're going to show you the reason why you can't get a gibble in this early on. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I'll see you guys in the next episode.